Though the Bad L Flex is ready to use straight out of the box with little to no setup configuration, there are a couple guidelines that we recommend you follow when you're conducting field mapping to maximize your performance potential. When you arrive at the site of your survey, power on your Flex by holding down the power button for 3 seconds and mount it to a survey pole in an open area. If you're not using a bipod setup, an elevated surface also works. A good open sky view allows the receiver to calculate an initial fix as well as download any necessary data from the GNSS satellite constellations. Any obstructions such as tree canopy, buildings, or even your own body can obstruct satellite radio signals, increasing the amount of noise and error caused by the signals passing through and reflecting off objects. This is called multipath error. This initial startup period shouldn't be longer than a minute if you've used your flex recently, but allow 10 minutes if you haven't used your receiver in a while or if it has traveled a great distance. If you decide to spend a bad ELF token to use the Atlas L-Band satellite correction service, please allow up to 30 minutes for the initial lock. While you're getting set up, connect your mobile device to your flex via Bluetooth, if it did not connect automatically from a previous setup. Download the free bad ELF flex app from the iOS App Store or Android Play Store. Next open the app after making the Bluetooth connection. You'll be able to view all of the information and settings accessible from the Flex UI screen, as well as the various correction modes supported by our revolutionary checklist workflows. These checklists guide you through laser offset workflows, correction service configurations, point logging, and base rover setup. If you're using RTK, start streaming corrections now. Though the Bad L Flex app certainly allows you to collect points with the accuracy and metadata you need, if you need to visualize GIS data in real-time and complement location data with detailed attribute fields, we highly recommend using a third-party app like ESRI Field Maps, Pointman from ProStar, or one of the other highly powerful field data collection apps of your choice. Each setup process varies slightly from app to app, but generally just ensure you're using the Flex as the location provider, that the antenna height is set correctly, and if using real-time corrections that you define the input datum. Now you're ready to start collecting data. Check out our best practices video for more information on using the Bad L Flex. Good luck and happy mapping!